All right, guys, welcome back to some more MX versus ATV All Out. This is 2019 Bud's Creek. We are going to look at 2020, but I got to show you the previous version from last year. This track, I kind of remember playing this track last year, but I don't remember it really, really good. And I thought I was pretty happy with the track, but the way after playing the 2020, the lighting, the color, just the way the track feels is so much better in 2020. As far as the layout goes, 2020 and 2019 are pretty much the same. The big difference that you're going to see is the lighting, and that's basically it. The track layout is exactly the same as it was in 2019. I mean, to a T. There is zero difference. And if the track didn't change, I've said this before, obviously Rainbow Studios isn't going to change the track. But I, ah, I don't know. I guess I'm disappointed because I feel like, yeah, it's a track and the main lines and ruts are gonna form in their normal spots, I guess, but I just thought maybe they could have moved some ruts around. You know, maybe the jumps and stuff aren't gonna change, but it's exactly the same. I mean, I really think Redbud had probably more changes to it than Bud's Creek here. Loretta Lens obviously had the most changes to it so far, but this track has the least amount of changes. The only big change is the lighting. Everything else is the same, nothing changed. All the free ride extra stuff is the same. None of that changed at all. Uh, and here you can see, it's pretty obvious that the lighting and the, just the color, the way the track looks is better. It feels more realistic and I guess I didn't realize it, but the track really didn't look that great in 2019. You know, comparing to 2020 here, 2020 definitely is easier on the eyes. I mean, it really is. I feel like I feel like the 2019 version, I don't know, just the way the track looked was really kind of not that good compared to this and and maybe I guess I didn't really have anything to compare it to when it came out last year but this year I can compare the two and I feel like it's pretty obvious that this track definitely looks better and so I guess you could say that this is the superior version of the track but they're the same they're really the same I mean it's like this much different I have my fingers pretty much touching. I don't even think you could put a piece of paper in between them. That's how similar these tracks are. And it just is a huge disappointment because, yeah, I get it. I said the track didn't change. They're not going to change it. It's official. But you're, it, it just, you're paying for the same thing twice. I feel like you should have got a discount if you bought the 2019 replicas last year or give us a uh, give us like uh what's what's what track here glenn helen you know give us a different track even if it's not part of the 2020 series add some of that stuff in make it feel more worthwhile since a, a bunch of these tracks are very similar if not exactly the same you know what i mean I'd be totally fine if they gave us a grass-covered Unadilla track plus the, the 2020 version because I'm pretty sure that 2020 Unadilla is going to be the same. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be the same and if it didn't change, that's great, that's fine, but it would be cool if we got a second version with the new grass deformation. I just think it would be cool. Plus, Unadilla is already part of the series, so you really wouldn't have to do an entire new track. I mean, adding in Glen Helen or Muddy Creek, 
would be great, but I feel like they won't do that simply because it's an official AMA 2020 Pro Motocross DLC. So if they add some of those other tracks that aren't part of the season, it kind of takes away from some of that official, you know what I mean? So similar to why Milestone doesn't put two strokes, I guess, in Supercross the game, I, I believe they said they don't because they try to keep it as authentic as possible. That being said, we did get Rick Johnson on his 1986 Honda. I mean, Milestone has kind of lightened up a bit, I guess, with that. And, you know, they give us compounds and stuff. They give us a compound in Supercross 2. That was a DLC, and it didn't have anything to do with Supercross. So, you know, they add in some of that extra stuff. So I feel like MX versus ATV, Rainbow Studios could do that with uh, this DLC. I mean, we're not going to get it this time around, but if they do it in the future or if they decide to make a new game or, you know, whatever, if they add these tracks and they're basically the same, please add in some of that other stuff, whether it be more tracks, even if they're not officially part of the season, or different variations. I mean, maybe you could take the same track and just uh, go back to however many years it would have been to when it had a different layout and then add that in the game. So even if you can't add in, in uh, tracks that aren't part of the season, give us older layouts of the same tracks. You know, that'd be cool. I feel like people would be happy with that and they'd feel like they weren't paying for the same thing twice. Because that sucks. That, that does suck. If you played 2019 Bud's Creek, you've played 2020. Now, if you haven't, or if you didn't, by 2019, the, or the 2019 AMA Pro Motocross National DLC, then this will be new to you and you have the superior version because it's prettier, for sure. It's easier on the eyes. It looks better. I mean, I'm trying to find the good to see in having two tracks that are the same. If there's other changes, I mean, it's so minimal. And I feel like I'm pretty sure, you know, here it's darker, for sure. It's tougher to get into that rut in 2020 than it is in 2019 because it, the shadows from the trees are, are definitely play a bigger part in this track than they did last year. But it's not enough. I mean, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, if you're okay with it, I just don't feel like you should be. I feel like if you bought 2019, you shouldn't be okay with the same track twice. I'm super pumped that we have these tracks. I'm so grateful that they went to all the work to make this happen, okay? Don't get me wrong. People say, he just complains about everything, he's never happy. I feel like that is the most bogus statement ever. Most of the time, I'm happy with stuff. And I see people commenting that they're not happy, and I shouldn't be. So most of the time, I feel like I'm okay with whatever it might be. And I'm really grateful that we have these tracks, and that they did this, and that it looks like maybe they'll be able to do this longer term but I don't care what the DLC is or what the situation is I'm not okay with having the same you know essentially the same thing and we had that with Redbud and I already said it but we don't know maybe maybe every other track is gonna be the same I mean, we'll have to wait and see and check it out when those tracks come out, but it worries me. It worries me that all the rest of the tracks are going to be just like uh, Bud's Creek here, and you're going to be getting the same tracks twice, at least the second half. I hope it's not the case. I hope most of them have subtle changes to them at least, at the minimum. But I'm not going to hold my breath waiting for it because I I just have a feeling that's not going to be the case. 
So again, let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Are you okay with having no changes? Or if you're not, what is your solution to make it feel worth it? And I don't know, just uh, get your guys' opinions. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.